Ibiza here. Welcome to Los Cabos. Hi guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. So today we are at the New Orleans Airport. And yes, that's right, I said it right. The New Orleans Airport. This thing looks like a bird nose. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, y'all, we are about to go to Cabo, Mexico. And Lemanuel told me that he have a surprise for me. It's my birthday. You remember I told you I was turning 22. So yeah, I'm turning 22. And we gon' I'm just gonna be 22 the rest of 2022. Okay. We're gonna do that. The rest of 2022, I'm gonna be 2022. So yeah, we are at the airport right now waiting. I'm trying to figure out why this man wanted us to leave so early and the flight don't leave till seven o'clock. But um, yeah, so. Oh, sir, sir, you violating. You need to put your mask back on and circle, they put you out. <laughs> put your mask back on. And um, yeah, so we going to Cabo. We're gonna show y'all some Cabo. video. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all lost Cabo, excuse me. So y'all, this is the new Orleans Airport in New Orleans, Louisiana. This is the airport. We're waiting. This is my things all packed up. Yeah, I packed pretty good. I just don't think I brought enough um, dress clothes because I packed yesterday and I got kind of frustrated, got kind of tired of packing. You know how you get tired of packing? You're like, man, I'm tired of packing. So I just kind of start throwing stuff in there at that point. But uh, I do think I like to pack it with minimal pieces. So I do think I got the minimal pieces accomplished, which is a good thing. So y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and take me a nap for about an hour. Hi guys. So right now we just got off the plane to Houston, Texas and we're now at the airport in Houston, Texas. <laughs> so yeah, so we're just getting off the plane there and we have to catch another flight. And I, that would be our last flight that we'll be catching before we get to What's the name of the place? Huh? What's the name of the place? Just want to make sure you don't correct me this time. No. <laughs> So hi guys, we have made it to Los Cabo.
guys. So this is the room. This is absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Lemayo. Yes, so well. And he's a Lemayo was about to explain to y'all about this resort and you know give y'all a little information if you ever wanted to take a trip to Los Cabo and um, you know just wanted to get a general idea of you know how it is before you go. Um, yeah. So go ahead, Lemayo. We're at the Secrets Resort, and one of the iconic things for a secret resort is the secret place. So when you order food or anything like that, they'll come and they'll bring the food, and they'll they have a two door way. They'll put the food right in here, and they don't come to the door or anything like that. And of course, whenever the food is here, you just open it up, you get your food and you close it back. So that's considered the secret place that's iconic for a secret resort. This is our first night dinner here. Today is what, Friday? It's Friday, so we are at a restaurant here. Get y'all good old view of everything. You want to say something? <laughs> Hi guys. Okay, so we got our food out and Lemuel has literally grossed me out. Y'all, this man has gotten octopus. That is so, and it really looks like you could tell it's an octopus. That's the disgusting part about it, y'all. This is mine. So I got a steak and some cream spinach and um, mashed potatoes here. And that's his octopus. Look at that. That's a sea creature right there. Gross. Talking about nasty, right? Crowd's going up full of me. <laughs> What do you got, Emmanuel? Octopus. Huh? Octopus. Gross. Say hello. Good morning. Day two, people. So we are here about to go and do some stuff and then we'll get back with you but this is day two right day two day two all right y'all so pretty but one thing i will tell y'all about this place and this is my opinion don't come here to eat it's beautiful it's nice uh -uh, no, that was but the, the first food day. No, that was just the first well day. my first day food experiences was terrible the and was and seeing that on his plate literally spoiled my appetite like so if it was something that was good that i wanted to eat i wouldn't have ate it because my app it spoiled my appetite but be. all right y'all it, it actually tastes like Shall I say we was in the Sea of Cortez and then we went out into the Pacific Ocean. I'm gonna be honest, I did not know. So next, if your husband or your boyfriend, girlfriend like water and they know how to swim and they take you somewhere, have knowledge of where you are going. Because I didn't even know how to swim 
And Lemanuel had me on a little tiny, tiny boat. That little boat would have flipped over. It would have been the end of me. So, baby, baby, <laughs> I got you. I got you. I took lifeguarding. I do not know how to swim, y'all. Do you know they have sharks and whales in the Pacific Ocean? I wouldn't, even if I knew how to swim, I wouldn't have went Every in the Pacific Ocean. so many uh, roads that wind to where, if it was a straight shot, it might be less than 15 minutes. But you gotta go around all these different um, winded roads to get there, and it's 45 minutes. Um, for for me, the major problem that I had was, you go to go get some of that drama meat, they telling us $32 for a pack of drama meat, which was, Ridiculous. The uh, what, what was that? A shirt? Okay. Yeah. Um, we went to the gift shop, and the shirts are like right. ninety dollars. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Pricey. Oh. And we understand we'll pay like forty, fifty dollars for a shirt, sixty dollars for a shirt, even seventy. But I mean, just a regular T-shirt, eighty, ninety, hundred. That's ridiculous. And 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 one other thing, you get hassled so much. You get hassled anywhere you go. We want drugs, you know. Yeah, yeah they and have a lot of that going on. More, they're asking you more, do you want to buy weed more here than in Jamaica? Yeah. <laughs> every, look, look like every five minutes, it was the same thing. Every five minutes. And you get tired of that. Yes. Um, so uh, overall, we did enjoy it, though. We enjoyed yeah. it. On a scale of one to ten, what would you think? On a scale of one to ten for, uh, for beauty, I'd give it a ten. For beauty, I'll give it a nine or eight. Eight or nine food on a scale of one to ten. The food we had, I'll say a six because we had, we also had some food on a boat ride and it wasn't oh too God. good either. So I say, well, I'll give it a five for the food. Um, this resort, I'll 
give it a five. And the reason I give it a five is because I don't golf. So, like I said, if you golf, maybe you will enjoy here. But it's just not enough entertainment here. Really, I don't see any. And for me, for the food, on a scale of one to ten, for how much this costs, I give it a four. Uh, Entertainment-wise, I'm a... I, I play music, I play trombone. And I like entertainment, I love live music, live jazz and all that. And I give it maybe a three, two and a half uh, <laughs> with this resort. And, and I'm just trying to be honest. Okay, y'all, so that just goes to show you how it really depends on, you know, we're just giving you our opinions. Y'all yeah. you, you, can come here and y'all may think the food is fabulous. So that's why I say do your own research. If you do come here, do your own research, research the resort. So, cause that way you know exactly what you are looking for. So guys, this is the name of the resort. Um, like I told you several times in the video. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Lakita. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Many more and many, many, many more and so many, many more. <laughs> yeah.